Welcome back to Utility Sports. We have a trade. Chris Paul and Abdel Nader, uh, they're being sent to the Suns for Kelly Oubre, Ricky Rubio, Ty Jerome, uh, Jalen LeCue, Le and the 2022 first round pick. And Sheldon, go into a little depth about what you're seeing from this trade. Who won the trade or is the win-win? Yeah, this is an interesting trade. Obviously, the uh, Oklahoma City Thunder are at a point where they're probably going to look to rebuild. They've got basically an unending amount of first-round picks over the next eight years or so. Uh, and I think sending Chris Paul after what is going to be probably his best year in the, in the next couple of years um, makes a lot of sense for them. They got Ricky Rubio, who's a, like a mid-level point guard. Uh, I really like Rubio. I think he uh, adds a lot of value, honestly, to an offense. I think Kelly Oubre uh, is the centerpiece of this deal. He's a you know good wing that's going to be able to give you a 14 to 17, 18 points a night, honestly, uh, and is capable of functioning as a slasher shooting combo wing. Uh, LeCue I like as an upside piece. Ty Jerome's not really much of anything to me in this trade. I think lequeu has got a little bit of athleticism and balance to him, and uh, the potential is there long term. Uh, and that 2022 first-round pick is, I believe, top 12 protected. Uh, which is a pretty safe deal for the Suns, too, because if this Chris Paul thing doesn't work out, they'll be able to keep that draft selection. I don't know if there's a backup yet on it or not. Uh, but looking at the Sun side of it, uh, you get Chris Paul, uh, and not only do you get him, but you're basically guaranteeing you get to keep Devin Booker and that he won't ask out because he's looking at this now like, okay, now I have a, a legitimate point guard on my team. And they also got to keep pick 10, so they're going to be able to address that wing spot, possibly go Devin Vassell, uh, even Patrick Williams if he's there. Uh, or even Aaron Nesmith and get another shooter around Chris Paul and Devin Booker. That could be a really scary uh, combination there, honestly, too, on the offensive end. So I think um, if you're if you're a Suns fan, you should be really ecstatic about this. Your team hasn't been to the playoffs since you had Steve Nash. You've got um, quite a few – you had quite a few holes, honestly. And I think, you know, now you're looking at Chris Paul, Aiton, and Devin Booker forming somewhat of a big three – Albeit not, you know, not an elite big three. They're not going to be a team that, you know, advances far in the playoffs or anything like that. But I think uh, Paul comes in, uh, maybe changes that culture a little bit into more of a winning culture. Uh, and at the same time, you know, Devin Booker is going to be a guy that wants to stay in Phoenix, especially if they make it to the playoffs this next year, uh, which I think is very possible. So I think that this is a win-win trade for both sides. I think the Thunder kind of accepted where they're at as a franchise and, and a need to rebuild and kind of re retool their roster. And the Suns are, <coughs> sorry, the Suns are running some of their momentum uh, from the bubble into uh, trying to be a playoff team, which I really like for them. Yep, and exactly. I, I think that makes a lot of sense for both sides. Um, obviously, the Thunder know where they're at, acquire another first-round pick, and they get a, a really nice asset in Kelly Oubre, who's a movable player. Or if you want to try to build around him long-term, you can do that as well. Gives you a little bit of flexibility there. Um, the other the other players, like Ricky Rubio's a another possible player that could get moved. However, they might just opt to keep him for now, develop, help develop other players. Um, or if you want to try to try to compete now, you, you might be able to do that. Um, but I think the, the Thunder are moving in a direction where they're going to, you know, slowly tear apart their entire roster this off season. Um, obviously um, Danilo probably won't be back. Um, so they, they got some things to figure out and, you know, maybe they can move Steven Adams, which I think they should try doing. Um, but great trade, I think, for both sides and makes a lot of sense. Yeah, especially I want to kind of focus on the Rubio aspect of this. I think um, obviously there was a lot of people talking about Chris Paul's mentorship role with um, Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And Shea's pretty much the center point of their franchise now at this point, looking at what they have. Uh, he's going to be the guy they try and develop and build around. And I think bringing Rubio in for a while, he's going to be able to fill that Chris Paul void. Um, that obviously who they're sending out. He's not as good of a player as Chris Paul, and I think their team overall won't uh, be as good, obviously. But Rubio is going to be able to come in, still help Shea learn a lot of things, uh, kind of open up the floor a little bit more as a passer too. And I, I think that he can coexist offensively with Shea Gilgis, and they could put Shea Gilgis more in that uh, scoring role early um, as he's trying to really still develop that area of his game. And he's just about to go into his third year in the league, so it's very possible that he has a lot of um, growth yet and I think that that's a, a really good move for the Oklahoma City Thunder I think Ubre's got um, enough defensively uh, to kind of coexist next to Shea Gilgis Alexander uh, and like you had mentioned all these players are pretty much removable there's not any bad contract here you know they didn't have to take in a guy like Nicholas Batum to move Chris Paul or anything like that they got you know pretty valuable players honestly uh, that like Ricky Rubio if 
later in the year, if you wanted to reroute him, you could. And same with Kelly Oubre Jr. There's going to be a lot of interest around the league. You know, maybe the Pistons are a team that uh, Oubre could get moved to or something like that. So I think that the Suns should uh, should be happy with getting Chris Paul, but I think that the Oklahoma City Thunder should be really happy turning what was Russell Westbrook into now three first-round picks, two pick swaps, Ricky Rubio, Kelly Oubre Jr., Jalen LeCue, Ty Jerome, uh, and, you know, a lot of cap flexibility moving forward after, you know, obviously the interesting thing with Paul George uh, asking out last offseason. So I think uh, Sam Presti's really done a good job managing that roster. Uh, now he's just got to hit on some picks. I'm a little critical of his ability to do so outside the top 10. But, uh, you know, hopefully for their sake, he does. And I think that could be a really interesting thing to monitor in Oklahoma City. Yeah, thank you everybody for uh, watching our video. We really appreciate it. We'd love if you could subscribe. Uh, we're going to break down a lot of the deals that are happening this offseason. We got a lot of things coming, especially today. So please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and like this video. So thank you so much for tuning in.